Hey guys, I want to talk today about what it's like to be a mom, a worker, and an entrepreneur all at the same time. So this starts out with just a, just a short story. So on Saturday, my company had our annual like holiday party. And, you know, we have lots of people that come to the party. And what we decided this year was to do this party at the bowling alley because we thought that that would be a lot of fun because sometimes holiday parties can be a little bit boring. And we do our holiday parties like, you know, in January because everything's just too busy in, around Christmas. So my office manager, her name is Roxy, and she threw the most absolutely fabulous party at this bowling alley. And what I really want to share is just what I watched her go through. Because as a mom, when we have young kids, you know, there's this pressure to be there's this pressure to be um, chasing these kids around. And I was watching her, she was managing all of these things with the party. She was managing, you know, the food, she was managing the employees, but then she has her little kids and they're like, I don't know, they're probably like um, two and, and uh, I think uh, Peyton is like six. And I'm watching her and I'm, I'm seeing the stress, like I'm seeing the stress on her face and I'm feeling it in her body. I'm quite empathetic. So I was just, I was just really feeling how much anxiety she was having. And I just, I just want to say that she does so much. I mean, Roxy does so much. So in addition to putting on this party, she also created all of these little awards for us. So this one belongs to Roxanne and it says the, uh, Unicornologist Award. And so she created awards for every single person. I got the Flash Award. And these are so cute and it's actually pretty special because these are, this light bulb is our company's um, logo. So that was really sweet. And I just went up to her and I, I told her, I'm like, look, you know, you're, you're chasing your kids around. You're, you're feeling like it's stressed. You feel like they're all in everybody's way. But the truth is, it's not bothering anybody. So if you're a young mom and you've got kids and you work, you know, I just want to tell you that um, your kids aren't bothering anybody. You know, like that stress you feel because they ran in the other person's bowling lane or they're out of control at the grocery store. Nobody cares. And anybody who does care, they really don't matter. When I was young, I was only 24 when I started my business and that was actually 20 years ago. And my kids were just babies at the time and I actually used to take them to work and I would even take them to business meetings with me. In fact, the first time I ever gave a public speech, my son who was um, under two at the time, I actually had him on a blanket just sitting next to me. And you know, now that was 20 years ago and now like I'm a I do all kinds of public speeches all over the country as well as have a best-selling book. But 20 years ago when he was, my kids were two and three, that wasn't the case. And so I just want to say to all of you, and I especially want to say to Roxy, like you're doing a good job, okay? Your kids are supposed to run around and act wild. That's what kids do. That's what they're about. That's what they want to do, especially little boys. You know, they, they have this, they have to move around all the time because you know, it's like if they're not moving, they just feel good. They don't feel good. And if you pick them up and you try to move, that's they kick their legs at you because they, they want to run free. So I'm watching Roxy with all my heart on Saturday manage, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 employees that were at this party. She's passing out these beautiful awards. Look at this cute light bulb. She made these. She actually like, I don't know where she got these letters, these like glitter letters, and she put them on here. But she's doing that all while trying to like keep an eye on her kids. And again, I could just, I could feel the stress. I could feel how she felt. And if you have ever felt this way with your kids, I used to feel this way. I have two boys, they're 16 and 17. And when they were little, I used to feel like all the eyes were on me. I used to feel like, I used to feel like everyone was watching me and I felt like they were judging me because of what my kids were doing. So if I was at like a family picnic and you know my kids were eating too many cookies or they stuck their hand in the macaroni and cheese or or you know it's like oh my gosh god forbid if they broke a knickknack that would that would be crazy, right? But just just know like nobody cares. Your kids are cute. They're adorable. When they're doing those things and you feel like 
you should be chasing them around and making them stop. The other people, they're not judging you, okay? It's all, you're just judging yourself. And you really need to stop judging yourself. You need to understand that you're the most wonderful mom that has ever lived. And for those of you, like my office manager, Roxy, who are a wonderful mom, a wonderful wife, as well as an amazing office manager who manages so many things at work and life, I just like, you get the award. So for sure. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.